Every historical wardrobe should start with accurate undergarments. Here, I'm wearing an envelope chemise, which was a relatively new innovation for this period. It is a chemise made out of white cotton, and it has a flap of fabric that passes from the back, between the legs, and fastens in the front. Unlike earlier corsets, which sought to create an hourglass shape, corsets for this period were more about smoothing the figure and creating an almost columnar silhouette. I used the Rilla corset pattern from Scroop Patterns for this, and it's made from pink cotton sateen from Burnley and Trowbridge. Elastic garter straps attached to the bottom edge of the corset help hold up the stockings. For each leg, there are two straps in the front and one strap in the back. The petticoat is made from cotton and has a whitework embroidered ruffle and a drawstring waist. The camisole or corset cover is made out of silk attached to a crocheted cotton yoke. There were a variety of camisoles, corset covers, and brassieres with varying levels of support based on what your body needed. A house dress or two made out of practical and washable cotton was a must for the average woman of the time period. Gingham checks were particularly popular for house dresses. The bodice of the dress closes on the left side with snaps. The center panel is often called a vest in period patterns. Next, the waistband of the skirt fastens at the side with hooks and eyes. Finally, the skirt placket closes with snaps. The finishing touch is a matching belt. Of course, my favorite part of the dress is the pockets. cool linen dress is perfect for summer. This dress features an applied front that resembles a bib with decorative buttons and attached sash ends that tie in the back. First, the bodice fastens at the center with snaps. Then the skirt is fastened on the left-hand side with, you guessed it, more snaps. The applied front is tacked on one side of the bodice and fastens with snaps on the other. The extra length is gathered up into attractive folds around the waist, and then the sash ends are tied in back. No summer outfit would be complete without a wide-brimmed straw hat made by timely tresses and a silk-covered parasol. This suit consists of a skirt and jacket made of wool from Burnley and Trowbridge. The skirt closes on the left-hand side with snaps. The jacket is unfitted and uses a belt to draw it in at the waist. 
The jacket fastens on the right hand side with snaps that go down the entire length of the vest. The belt fastens with hooks and eyes and has a decorative button on the front. I'm particularly happy with this hat because it's one of the few buckram hats that I've ever made. I based it off of 1918 instructions from a French magazine and it's covered in blue velvet. The other finishing touches are brown leather gloves and a fur muff. I really love the fashions of this time period, and I have plans and fabric for more, so you might see another video like this in the future.